It's Shanice Kabali here again with Video Guys. Here, Video Guys Newsday Tuesday with Stephen Haywood. A 15 minute spotlight we have with this gentleman. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm pretty good. So let's just go right into it. Why don't you give us a little background? How long you've been streaming? How long you've been doing live broadcast? A little bit of your background. Yeah, so I've been broadcasting uh, almost uh, 12 years now. I have uh, multiple brands, uh, people know me throughout the internet, but uh, one of the big things is, uh, you know, working with Telestream and getting my job here years and years ago. Uh, I've, I've done everything from that, that run and gun type broadcast at trade shows to studio setups like I'm doing now, as well as house of worship and uh, school broadcasting. So yeah, I've got a, a plethora of uh, skills, I guess you'd say under my belt. So you have a background with ministry and churches. Can you give us a little uh, background on that? Yeah, so we've been uh, live streaming the church services for, for a good 10 years now. Okay. Back before we had all these great tools that we have at our fingertips now, we had to right. cobble a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we've been doing that for, for quite some time. We, we just embarked this year on uh, live streaming the, the kids' ministry. Okay. Into into overflow TVs for for parents and whatnot to be able to uh, when they come out of the service to see where we're at in the service and using great tools. Uh, overflow that Wirecast TVs provides. meaning. Right. So throughout the church, we have different mm -hmm. TVs that our security personnel use um, just to make sure they can still monitor the service and everything. We have them in our foyer. We have them okay. um, in our nursery. We have them also in our fellowship hall and kitchen. Awesome. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. So, so obviously, yeah. you know, streaming in a church has its sets of challenges. What kind of challenges do you face when you're streaming in a house of worship? So nowadays, everybody, you know, has a smart device and everybody okay. wants to connect to the network and connect to the Internet within the church. And a lot of times uh, that poses problems. Uh, it, it poses problems for, for the for the guys up in the booth or the guys back in the uh, in the, in the broadcasting area. And so what happens is you end up getting bandwidth issues with with streaming and so that seems to be one of our biggest hiccups uh w within the the four walls because of uh limiting access if you will to to the internet so what is one of your f current favorite broadcasts that you've done with the live streaming probably one of my favorite all time has been um i had the pleasure of interviewing steve wozniak co-founder of apple back i think it was back in 2011. um just such an icon to be able right. to, to talk and chat with him uh, that that was very influential in in the tech market okay um was great very nice guy very down to earth it was a it was a great time where did you meet him i think it was back in 2011 okay we did we did it was we it did a, a live at uh, a particular show well believe it or not um i reached out to him and his wife set it up and we we did a live broadcast uh from his location and he skyped in and we were able to you know have a nice, uh, almost an hour interview. Now that was with Telestream that you did, with Steve Wozniak. Uh, no, that was with one of my personal brands that we did that. Got it, yeah. got it, got it. So what is one of the yeah. biggest mishaps you've had on set? I know you've had probably some, so why don't you give us a little bit of, uh, of what happened with that? So I, I think a lot of the biggest mishaps that I see, it, it, even that I've had happen to me as well, is not being able to control the whole situation, right? right. So as a producer uh, as well as on-screen talent a lot of the broadcasters out there themselves are they're hosting and producing they're not uh privileged enough to have somebody producing so sometimes when you bring in a guest you don't have the ability to control the audio and the video right. and so sometimes you feel like your hands are tied you have everything else under control and then that you know that aspect of it or heaven forbid a, a storm rolls through and you lose power. Well, you can't really control that. You have everything else dialed in, but then the, the power goes out if you're not running any kind of backup. So that those are those are some of the big challenges that I've faced. Even when I thought I had everything mm -hmm. locked down and tied up. Yeah, so how do you decide what you do? Like if, you, if you're going on the road and do something like that, how do you decide what you're gonna take with you as far as you know, if you're gonna do a broad, you know, a broadcast or a streaming somewhere else? Is it something you think of in advance or is it kind of like on the fly or go? Yeah, so that's something that I've learned over the years is um, people laugh because I, I always make sure that I have a backup of a backup of a backup of whatever I'm Why taking. Why not, right? So, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you don't just you're going out there. This is a, a business or job. You don't just take one camera. Right. Um, of you know, I, I travel with two or three cameras, even if I'm using one just as a backup. I have sure. probably three or four of each of the cables that I'm okay. using batteries, um, you know, different gear that I'm using throughout the, the process, uh, backup recordings, especially. Um, I always make sure it's kind of my rule of thumbs. Maybe I go overkill, but I, I like to have at least three backups of every every piece of equipment that I have when I go on, on location or if I'm away from the studio where I don't have right. quick access to any of that. Well, that's pretty cool. So let's get a little bit into the Wirecast rebates that are currently going on. Can you give us a little bit of information on that? Right. So right now we have some really, really cool rebates going on. Um, and this is U.S. only. Okay. But we have uh, some some rebates here for the um, the 110 model. Like you can get a $300 uh, gift card uh, for the 210 model. You can get a $500 gift card, and also for the 230 unit, you can get a $600 gift card. And okay. I personally use these units. I have one of them in my studio. I have right. the uh, the 210 model, and we also use uh, this at the church. And we found that. These types of units are, are especially good for those house of worships or the okay. schools or even some of the uh, government facilities where they really don't have a high staff of tech folks. And they want to have something where they buy it, they plug it in, it just works. It's not overly expensive. Okay. And they can stream and have four cameras and a, a graphics package. So okay. it, it's a great, great um, rebate that Telstream's doing and we're, we're excited about it. Can you give us a little info? Let's just say someone wanted to live stream and a little bit of the differences between the 110 to the 210 to the 230. Sure. So the difference between if, if we're going 110 to to the, the 210 model, right. um, you're looking at HDMI. You have four HDMI inputs on the 110. And when you go to the 210, you're looking at four SDI inputs. Okay. And and the, the differences between the 210 to the 230, you're looking at hard drive space as being as being the difference on that so if you're looking for something with a lot more uh space if you will for storage of your your videos and whatnot you may be wanting to look at the 230 unit but a lot of folks and churches they're not um you know they may not have sdi cameras uh, maybe right. they have hdmi cameras the 110 okay. might be your best choice so 110 is probably geared to somebody who doesn't have much experience in streaming yeah, I mean, HDMI cameras are, are readily available, right. so you can okay. go to your local stores and pick stuff like that up, yeah. So as far as, like, the 210, the 230, that's for somebody you would say that's a little bit more advanced, like somebody who already has, let's say, you know, production experience? Yeah, because now you're getting into the, the professional inputs, the SDI okay. inputs, uh, so they're going to be geared more toward your, you know, your the guys that have been doing this for a while. It's not something... Okay. Or, or, or if you know you have the budget and you want to break into it and you want to skip going over HDMI and and you want to go right, right to that professional input, right. you're going to want okay. to go to that, yeah. So what Wirecast gear are you currently using in your space over there? So currently I'm using the 210 unit. Okay. Um, and I know you had a, a, a shot of the, the controller. We, we actually have the, the X keys controller that I use here in my studio as well. Um, so... <laughs> I'm a big fan. Like when I'm producing a show and I'm hosting a show, I need to be able to, yeah, there you go. So I, I need to be able to be pressing buttons and I need to be able to be switching cameras myself because I don't have a producer. I, I am the producer. Uh, so having something like that coupled with, with Wirecast is, is phenomenal. Having the ability to control it. And, and what we've actually done, you, you know, at the church with this, right is we've been able to take our you know eight through ten year olds and teach okay. them how to how to control wirecast with the controller yeah so when as they get older that we can move them up to the, the the bigger broadcasting setup that we have in our okay. sound booth so it's a great way to train them they understand the layering system in wirecast and they can match it up with the colors that are on the x key the layering so it, it's system a great as training. far as like what the colors are up front here Yes, exactly, and, okay. and the layering system within Wirecast, so they know where everything is laid out by looking right. at the software okay. and then looking at the controller. So it's, uh, you know, I always tell this to churches that are using Wirecast. This is a must if you really want to train somebody that's a that's a novice when it comes to broadcasting and switching. Mm -hmm. Get them a controller; it's well worth the money. This so this controller right here. So this is the one that you do train the eight to ten year olds to use. Yes. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. 
Yes. That's pretty advanced, and they can understand that with no problem. They can. In, in fact, my kids, I have a six-year-old and a 10-year-old, and they come down to my studio. Okay. Uh, my, my daughter has Wirecast on a MacBook uh, Pro, oh, nice. and she she's into the whole Minecraft and, okay. um, cool. and with the green screen. So she'll set up in front of the green screen, and she'll use this controller with her MacBook Pro. Right. And she'll play Minecraft on her phone and okay. capture it with NDI and Wirecast and stream it out to YouTube or record it and... She uses that controller to switch between her and her friend, and yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty interesting. Kids learn quick these days. That's pretty cool. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, the current sale that's going on right now with Wirecast for the Pro and Studio? So there, the the this, there's different sales that are going on. I think okay. you have them pulled up right now. Yep, I, I have think it right it's here. What, 30 percent off. Uh, it's a great time to get involved with with Wirecast, and and if, if you know if you don't have it. Um, Grab it at this discount because, I mean, as you guys know, and, and, and video guys, you guys know as well, we, we don't bring these sales that often throughout the year. Um, some of our biggest sales happen, you know, at, you know, Christmas time. So uh, it's a great opportunity to get in, get in Wirecast and, and start rolling with it. Can you also tell us the, different, the main difference between the two? So your studio, your studio is going to have um, different features that probably a beginner to um, maybe I would say an intermediate could okay. use where the pros is gonna, you're gonna get into some of the higher end functionality as like uh, rendezvous as a good example. Rendezvous in the studio version, you can have okay. up to two guests with that. But when you jump to pro, you can go up to about nine different guests, uh, including oh, nice. yourself. Right. So, awesome. so you have, so there's some different versatilities um, with the software when you're going from studio to pro. So. Okay. We have a, a good comparison chart. If you're not sure if Pro is for you, and when right. you start getting into advanced audio controls, okay. that they're also only available in Pro. So when you want to start doing those types of things, check the website to make sure that that fits within your your, your knowledge scope, um, because we have some real high end stuff in the Pro as far as the advanced audio controls to be able to do um, mapping of different channels. Uh, of the audio to different places so I okay. mean, for that for that video producer out there you know you have those 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 abilities so we pretty much you know we're, we're, we're aiming for for all spectrums when it comes to the the, the YouTube kid like my like my daughter all right. the way up to the professional that's building a, a brand and building a business um, in live video very cool so 2019 is a lot of things are happening is there anything you can tell us about Telestream that's uh, happening with you guys this year? Uh, there's always happenings uh, <laughs> at Telestream. These guys, uh, the, the coders, we, we make sure we feed them uh, plenty of pizza. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> these guys are always, I, I always, these guys are always coding and trying to find okay. the, the, best, the best features out there that they can put into the next version of Wirecast. Uh, so that way we can keep delivering and producing the type of uh, quality product that everybody's come to know and love about about us at Telestream. Awesome. We're going to be uh, debuting some new things at NAB? Uh, well, you know, you're just going to have to stay tuned. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I can't, I can't reveal all the secrets, but there are some cool things coming. So okay, if you're heading awesome. out to NAB, make sure you check out the booth because I think you guys are going to be uh, excited with some of the new stuff that's coming. Awesome. So we're going to get a little bit into the bundles that we have over here. So we have some ultimate streaming bundles that so if you're interested in, you know, for your house of worship, using some PTZ cameras, you can call our experts at 1-800-323-2325 and we'll go a little bit into them right now. So let's talk a little bit about the Wirecast Pro with the PTZ Optics camera. Could you give us a little info on that? So Wirecast has built-in PTZ control to where okay. you, you can control it. First off, for those that don't know what a PTZ camera is, it, it stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. So basically, um, you can, uh, PTZ Optics, is it's the same camera that I'm using right now. So if you want to know what the quality is, you can see right from my um, <laughs> right from my studio or my shot here that these guys are using, um, I'm using a camera uh, from PTZ Optics, and I can actually control it through Wirecast, or in this case, because I'm a guest on the show, I can control it with different presets from this remote control. So it's great where I can simply press a button and it will motor, motorize and move any which direction I want it to. I can turn the camera, pan it up and down, zoom out, zoom in, adjust the focus, um, okay. all those types of cool things. So 
we have that control built in the Wirecast, so you can do it just by the click of a mouse or, awesome. you know, like I said, you can use the, the remote. So you do say that the X keys is very easy to use, correct? Yes. So this is probably the best thing that they would start with, like the 210. I mean, because if, uh, if you're trading 8 to 10-year-old kids, and this is probably the, the best thing, probably you'd start at the NDI streaming bundle with the camera and then the audio interface. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great because kids, kids nowadays, they're grabbing mm -hmm. iPhones, they're grabbing right. iPads, and, and Wirecast coupled with this controller, it lights up, it indicates what shot is live. It, it, okay. You know, when you could sit there and you tell these kids, most of the time you tell them, don't touch the big red button, but in the case <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the Wirecast control surface here with the X keys, you could tell them, yes, that red button is what's gonna push it live. And so they can sit there and get creative and, and switch all the shots that you that you've pre-composed for them. So it, it's fantastic when it comes to that. And, and I always like to tell people because we have, a, we have a lady at our church also who's in her 70s and she runs Wirecast and she runs awesome. this controller and she composes shots. So you can go to the very young, young kids to run okay. it all the way up to the oldest of old that want to be involved. And okay. it's, it's very easy to use and very easy to set up. And you don't have to have a background in broadcasting to know and, and well, run that's this. Good to know. Yes. So that's one thing we really love about this controller and how it works. So why would somebody have to use, you know, two cameras during a live broadcast? And that's a question we get all the time is, do I need one camera? Do I need two? What do you suggest as far as something like that goes? So a lot of folks, what they do is with two cameras, especially, mm -hmm. you know, in any, in any type of production, you have your wide shot, you know, where it's gaining the whole, the whole spectrum of, okay. you know, your studio. Whereas you have the the hero shot, which is the tight shot, like we're we're seeing right now with me. This is a this is what I would consider a tight shot. Right. I usually set up two main cameras. I have a tight shot, and then I have a wide shot that okay. allows you to see you know a little bit more if I'm doing kind of a demonstration or whatnot. So um, that would be kind of the purpose in in a house of worship or a school setting. Let's say you have three people sitting around a table. You'd have the hero shot that's on the, the main anchor, and then you'd have the wide shot showing all three people at the round table where they're discussing okay. whatever it is that they're discussing. That's awesome. I think that's pretty much it. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us before we sign off today? No, I mean, just go check it out. If you're not, uh, if you haven't up, upgraded to the latest version of Wirecast, get out there and get on that. We have a, a great support package that you can get on. We're at and 10 get right the, now, correct? All the updates for free. What's that? We're, we're at 10 right now? No, Wirecast. we're at Wirecast 11. 11, okay. 11, That's my 11, goal. One, 11, 1, 2. Okay. And um, so we, we, we want to make sure, like, when you guys get on that support package, I think it's $99 a year. Okay. Um, you get the latest and greatest every year. It's a it's a free update once you're on that. So it's a it's a great uh, great way to stay current with Wirecast and all the great new features that are coming out now and in the future for it's Wirecast. Up it's updated pretty frequently, right? Yeah, that's pretty. Our cool. guys are are, are 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 always you know they they try to stay on top of things when things change in the industry. So it's great to see you know as 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 they've gone to this model that people can get on board with the latest and greatest and not have. Uh, the compatibility problems that, that sometimes you can face with live streaming software. Very cool. Well, Stephen, it was a pleasure. I want to thank you so much for joining us here at Video Guys, and I hope to see you at NAB in a few months. It was, it was my pleasure. I appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Yes. All right. So that wraps it up. Let's go over our schedule for the next month. February 26, we have John Landman from Teradek to go over the Video Goo Pro and live streaming solution. March 5th, we have the scoop on storage, G technology rate options for Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C. And then March 12th, introducing Atomos Shinobi, the Ninja V, and the new Atomos X workflows. This is Judy Scabali signing off for Video Guys Newsday Tuesdays. I'll see you soon. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.